welcome back now in this video as you guys know already we will simply get the data and retrieve it from the firebase fire store right from the collection of jobs where the job title will be equal to or let's say if it's greater than the search query that the user will enter right in here if it's equal to and let's say if it's greater to okay the search query that the user will enter right in here we're gonna check that also okay job title and also the last thing that we will see and check if the requirement for that specific job if it's equal to true or not if it's true then we will show the job if it's not if it's equal to false then we will not show the job so I hope you can get the idea now and let's work further so below this app bar I'm gonna say body okay and then we will have a stream builder right in here there we go then we will say query snapshot there we go now right with this query snapshot in there we will have a less sign and greater sign we will say map as you guys can see now again greater sign and less sign okay there we go now in there we will have string comma and then we will say dynamic there we go the suggestion now in here parenthesis make sure to write it in a proper manner as you guys can see okay right in here now right in this parenthesis what I'll do let's take this down and we will provide the stream now in here there we go in which now firebase firestore instance that we will create okay so in here firebase firestore and then you'll say dot instance we will make that instant right to the collection of the jobs as I told you already so in here jobs and make sure the spelling must be same right in here and also in the firebase firestore now remove that comma and I'm gonna take this down right from here so that you guys can see it easily now right afterwards we are just retrieving the data right in here guys okay right from the firebase fire store as you guys can see the instance okay right to the collection of jobs where in here we will now also check the job title as I told you already okay so in here string and then we will say job title the name must be same guys make sure of the spelling okay right in here and also in the firebase fire store right in the collection of jobs so in here job title we will say if it's greater or equal to so we will go with this one is greater than or equal to okay is greater than or equal to the search query it simply means that whenever the user will enter right in here a query for searching the job okay so the user will enter right in here the job title according to that we will check that job title if it's greater or let's say or equal to to that search query that the user will enter right in here if it's greater or equal to then we will simply show that job I hope you can get the idea now let's move further now so in here I'll say dot and you will say where the requirement will be true also we will see and check that in here requirement guys look out for the spelling okay requirement in here put comma and then we will say if that requirement is equal to to true and right afterwards in here dot snapshot the data we will have in here comma now we will provide the builder as you guys can see right in here now scroll down and right in the builder what we will provide the contacts and also we will say asynchronous and here put as and also snapshot asynchronous snapshot then we will say snapshot let's have that one created in here put p and all just fine so we provide the contacts and asynchronous snapshot object snapshot in here curly braces and take this down now 
let me just explain it one more time so that you guys can get the more clearly idea as you guys know already we are just getting and retrieve the data right from the firebase firestore as you guys can see we are creating that instance right to the collection of jobs where the job title will be equal to or let's say if it's greater to a search query and where the requirement will be true only in that case we will retrieve the data and whenever the user will search for that specific job then we will show it right here now right in the builder in here in those curly braces we will check if snapshot dot connection stat if that equal to the connection stat dot waiting if there will be any kind of waiting then what I'll do we will simply return right in the center of the screen so in here you'll have a center widget and then we will say child let's have that circular progress indicator in case of any writing then we will show that in here semicolon and let's add the const modifier to this center widget cut it from here okay and add it right in center widget in front of it there we go the yellow line has been gone already so in case of any wedding if snapshot dot connection start if that equal to the connection start dot wedding there will be any kind of wedding then we will show the circular progress indicator right in the center of the screen and you guys can see the center widget right in here now there's working of if as you guys can see right in here now we will go towards the else if else if now what I'll check in here we will simply check if snapshot dot connection stat if that equal to connection stat dot active whenever it is going to be active then what we will do we will simply also check if snapshot dot data question mark then dot docs in here write it documents dot is not empty we will also check that okay if that equals to true then what we will do in here called the brasses take this down we will return list view dot builder it's going to take the item builder for now we will remove it we will just add it in a while semicolon add it n and take this down first we will provide the item count and right in the item count we will say snapshot we're going to have all of our data so in here data and let's have that dot docs document with a length dot length now right after let's have the item builder so in here we will say build contacts contacts check contacts comma let's create an integer type index and in here call the brushes take this down from here now simply what I'll do in there we will return the job widget design that we just implemented before right in the previous videos so in here job widget there's the design okay it's going to take the job title job description job id uploaded by and so on as you guys can see right in here for now what i'll do i'll simply just remove that and we will add it one by one and we're going to get that okay so that you guys just don't get confused in that write it and semicolon now let me just show you that job widget that's the design okay we also use that job widget design right in the job screen okay there is going to be like that design okay as you guys can see on the job screen so in here whenever the user will search for a specific job then we will show it right in here and the design gonna be similar like that okay and let me also show you the dot file 
of this specific job widget so in here as you guys can see that widget folder and there we go with the job widget open that they are just a design okay in which we implement all of the design as you guys know already okay I have already explained this in detail so close that from here and we are back in a search job okay there we go now let's just retrieve the data in here so the first thing that we will get right from the firebase fire store right from the collection of a jobs okay and where the job title will be greater or let's say equal to the search query and where the requirement will be true okay only in that case we will show that specific job and also I have also explained this okay in detail circular progress indicator and right in here let me just explain this one more time okay this one so in here is F if that snapshot dot connection stat if it's equal that to the connection start dot active so if it's active then also we will check if snapshot dot data dot document dot is not empty okay so if our data is not empty it simply means that if it's contain data some kind of and that equals to true only in that case we will return the list view dot builder okay in which we just have that item count in which we all of the data with the line as you guys can see right in here okay and then we have that item builder and right inside that first we created that okay guys I have explained this already it's just a simple code so in here we just create that build contacts and object contacts in here we created a integer type index okay so whenever we will get the data we will get it with a specific index number so in here that's why we created that and that's just the contacts now only then we will return the job widget that design and right inside that design we will retrieve the data right from the firebase fire store right from the collection of a jobs where the job title will be greater or equal to the search query and where the requirement will be true okay and also we just check that okay I have explained this so only then we will return the job widget now right inside that let's retrieve the data